So in this week's episode, we will look at how can you migrate workloads to AWS environment. So let's look at what kind of applications we are trying to migrate out here. Basically, we are trying to migrate a microservice application from any cloud vendor to AWS cloud. The approach that I am describing is for a microservice application, but the strategy can be used to migrate any kind of application to AWS environment. Now the application being migrated comprises of hundreds of services. It uses managed and non-managed databases for its persistence as well as reporting purpose. In terms of runtime, uh, the application is deployed on virtual machines and some of the application uses containers, basically a managed Kubernetes distribution for managing workloads. The application exposes all of the business functions as APIs and it uses the API management solution provided by the cloud vendor to track and monitor API usages and performance like average latency, number of errors and so on. With respect to logs, the application uses a common infrastructure to capture all the server and application logs in a central place and use the query capabilities provided by the cloud vendor to search for specific log events. The application also uses a lot of ad hoc jobs for task management and scheduling. For instance, launching an application once a file is received from a vendor. Central monitoring and alerts is one of the key features of the application where all of the information can be viewed in the central dashboard with respect to API usage, server usage, monitoring and setting up required alerts for notification. With respect to security, the application leverages the features provided by the cloud vendor, for instance, setting up firewalls, using tools to mitigate DDoS attack, as well as common web exploits. The application being migrated is a secure and compliant application, and it basically uses audit functionality provided by the cloud vendor to provide end-to-end -end visibility of the application as well as the environment. For instance, which user is accessing the environment, what data is being requested, and so on. With respect to resilience and scalability requirements, the application uses out-of-the-box features provided by the cloud vendor such as auto-scaling and the use of a global load balancer. And finally, with respect to tooling, it integrates with the continuous integration and continuous deployment services provided by the cloud vendor to roll out applications effectively in various environments. Next, we look at how we can migrate this application to AWS environment. We start off with a migration strategy and a migration plan that allows us to migrate the application to AWS environment. The migration plan that I've described is fairly generic enough and can be used to migrate any application to AWS environment. So with respect to the migration plan, you first start off with organizing projects, buildings and roles and set up the virtual private cloud for segregating your application environment. Once the basic infrastructure is set up, you then go about migrating managed and non-managed services to the AWS environment from the other cloud vendor. And this migration consists of application as well as database migration. Now as the application uses virtual machines, API gateways, and ad hoc jobs, we basically look at how we can migrate all of these components into equivalent AWS services. Once the application is been migrated, next we look at how we can harden the production setup. For instance, which AWS services we can leverage to provide security and auditing. Once the production application is up and running, we look at how you can set up central log management to log various events and set up monitoring alerts based on required metrics and thresholds. And finally, with respect to tooling, we look at what compatible AWS services we can use for continuous integration and continuous deployment processes to roll out applications effectively in the required environments.